Goal is to score 25 points. Hit a yellow pot and you get one point. Hit a red pot and you get two. Hit a wall and you lose one. Oh, I think I, I didn't even know this existed. I think I cleared the previous thing and it just ignored it. Anyway, this game is quite a bit more difficult than that. Well, actually, there's no way to fail the one before, so of course it's more difficult. You want to aim a bit higher than the pot is because they actually do take, you know, physics into account here. Yay, physics. Gravity is fairly important. <laughs> 25 points, right? 25 is what you need. Highest possible score is 30. But the only additional benefit from that is 100 rupees. I've never gotten 30. Um, you get all your bomb bags doubled in size. Oh, awesome. Okay, you do not want to miss any of the red ones, because they're worth two each. So did you do 100% run playthrough before this LP, or...? Yes. This... Basically everything that's not fishing, I've done. Oh. Oh, crap, wall, wall. And don't worry about ammo, you have unlimited bomb marrows. At least that's nice. He also reloads, like, more quickly than any actual archer could. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, please, no, stop it. I was so cheap. Okay, I think they're, the pots are sort of, they come more often as you get closer to the end. Especially the red ones. It looks a little bit off. A little bit hard to manage with like yeah, it's and stuff whilst trying to keep away from um, hitting the walls and stuff. They look what? Well it just looks like it's a lot to manage at once with trying to avoid the wall, hit the pots and everything. Oh come on. I'm not gonna win unless I hit like every single pot now. Well, what do you know? I did hit every single pot. Congratulations, you won. Thank you. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, the, I mean, it's in practice, it's not that difficult to manage because generally the spots where there are a lot of pots are the spots where it's easiest to avoid the wall. They, they designed it that way, probably on purpose. That's helpful. Is that from a, um, like a Boku Lala or whatever it's called? Huh? It kind of looks like one of those plants. It does, but I'm not sure which plant it looks like. <laughs> but like, like, um, the ones that have, like, the big, um, the mouths and pop out of the ground. Yeah, sort of, I guess. Anyway, despite the fact that it says giant bomb bag singular, singular, the upgrade actually applies to all of your bomb bags. Nice. So unfortunately, I have to go through this whole sequence again. I may cut out some of this depending on how long the session winds up being. So how many bombs are you able to carry total now? Um, 120. Quite which a few is bombs. what? I was just saying, that's quite a few bombs, but you're completely inane. Um, 
Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, it's a lot more than you'll ever need. Then again, there are bomb arrows in this game, so maybe they figured you'd be using more bombs. Yeah. I know some friends who played this game, and basically whenever they would just not, they refused to use ordinary arrows. They just had to use bomb arrows. That, that, I think that was, no, I tell you, I don't think I ever used arrows. No, no, that's Wind Waker. Wind Waker, I never used the bow. Well, you, Boomerang is my best friend. You have to use it at some points. Oh, yeah, but. No, I think I pre no, yeah, yeah. Oh, him again. God. Man, now I want to play some, um... Uh, His eyes. Now I want to play some Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> it's the curse of Let's Plays. Whatever you see when you immediately want to play the game you're watching. <laughs> Yeah, I want to play Donkey Kong 64 because of Slim Kirby's Let's Play, which is just finishing. I never played Donkey Kong 64. Is it's, it good? Yeah, it, it's like, um, it's sort of, I think of it as like, I think of it as the spiritual sequel to Banjo-Kazooie. Like, but, I think of it, if there were a game that came between, like, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie, that's sort of it. Um, it's basically one massive collectathon, but it's fun. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Banjo Kazooie's fun, so. Yeah. yeah. And it's. Donkey Kong 64 is also very. It's very silly. Like, you use oranges as grenades. Um, That's awesome. You shoot coconuts and various other fruit items at enemies. Awesome. I need to play that game. Um. What else? It, it's just very silly. You um. If you fall too far, then then each character has his or her own funny animation, and you know, like going splat animation. <laughs> Is it Donkey Kong 64 where the DK rap came from? Yes. Yes! That's that, that, that song is like the best one in, um... Smash Brothers? Yeah, Smash Brothers. It, it's just so horrible, that's amazing. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm actually getting on with the story for a brief while. Yay! So, so, um, what's happening? So, I got rid of the Twilight covering Lanairu province, and now I need to save the Zora Prince because the dead Zora Queen promised me the power to breathe underwater if I did so. Man, I, the armor you get is like the best ever. Um, Link looks like a ninja. Also, I'm trying to, I'm trying to avoid like talking about stuff that I haven't gotten yet. So. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Um, where am I going? Not so great when it comes to stopping spoilers. Oh, you didn't know. My my, I, my mind tends to blur everything together into a delicious lump of Zelda goodness. <laughs> And here's Dr. Useless. Whoa, that guy has interesting glasses. <laughs> Who's this one again? Oh yeah, this, it's, 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 it's this her. Is, yeah, this is Ilya. Ilya, that's her name. Doesn't she have a dorky brother named Colin or something like that? <laughs> I'm not, that may be her brother, I'm not sure. There is someone named Colin, but, Colin, but... Not sure if of the relationship. And Ilya, you know, Ilya and Link were friends, and yet she just gave me a really weird look there. She's probably consumed full of grief over this sleeping person. 
from. And here's the character who Nintendo Capri Sun calls Aretha Boobs. Uh, for obvious reasons. Mm hmm. And here's the Testosterone Brigade. Sounds creepy coming out of her mouth. <laughs> like she always has a really weird expression on her face. So that's why she was giving me a weird look, because she doesn't know who I am. You know, I'd never thought of that, but that would probably be a good idea. Like, Zora have gills, right? I think so. Maybe that they don't want to just support. It's cat. It's cat. Yes. I don't, I don't know why I just said that. Oh, sweet, it's a bridge. It's a bridge. Yes, this is the bridge where I got burninated twice earlier. Uh, Second time resulting in epic rage on my part. Rage. Let's cross the bridge to the east. Oh no, not this thing. Ugh, I hated this thing. I hated it. Wait, one of his horns is damaged. I think. If this is the right thing I'm thinking of. Oh, yep. Yeah. Link's like, don't worry, I've beaten Bozo twice before. Oh, so you've already fought, fought that guy once, right? You will... Once or twice, depending on how you count it. Okay, I can't. I can't remember um, how many. Like where I don't know exactly where you are or whatever. But um, oh, did you name yourself Eric? Yeah, you know, I just figure my 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 name's on my channel page anyway, so people know it. So like a feral beast. Hmm. I wonder why she might see that now. <laughs> Say that now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, like, then, like, uh. What? The lady, like, looked at Link and was like, uh. And Link was like, uh. And then Link was like, uh. Okay, so many games have tried escort missions before. And lots of them have failed because the person or thing you're escorting is a dumbass and just seems to have a death wish and runs into, you know, the enemies constantly. I am happy to say that this escort mission was designed better than that. Yeah, this one's actually not that bad. So, you have to follow the flashing purple-red path and get all the way to Kakariko Village. No, it's been in more than that. I mean... Oh, look, it's Bozo again. Uh, I this... always hated this weird thing, because I always... For some reason, I had a lot of trouble beating this this guy. I don't know why. I mean, it's no, not... I've, I have had a lot of trouble beating this guy in the past. Um, okay, Bo is equipped, yes. Okay, this time... Wait, no, go forward... You need to... He has shields blocking his side, so you can't use your sword. Instead, you use your bow. Oh, I forgot to say. Link versus Bozo, round three. Fight. Fight. No, his actual name is Bubbling King. 
Link wins. Flawless victory. Fatality. Link wins. More like aquality. So I think it's always nighttime for this mission, no matter when you start it. <laughs> 